Yeah, well, I'll talk to you a little bit later. Oh, here we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Late Late Show. We're so happy that you stayed up for us. We have a great show planned for you on tonight's show. She is a Hollywood powerhouse. She's got her own talk show, line of makeup, her own wine, magazine, and so much more. The unstoppable Drew Barrymore's on the show tonight. <laughs> Drew! How are you? Mwah. Hello, How James. You, are you good? It's so nice to see you. I'm getting all dolled up for you. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting all dolled up for you, sweetie. That's right, honey toots. I'll be out in a moment. We'll do this Hollywood style. That's right. You come out here. You come out here. You tell your stories, and then we'll go get dinner at Mateo. Hell, yes, we will. Do more, everybody. <laughs> and she is an incredible actor. You know from Birds of Prey, Fargo, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. We love her at this show, The Glorious, The Always Cool. Mary Elizabeth Winstead is here tonight. There she is. Hello. Hey, Mary, how are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm good. It's so nice to see you. So nice to see you. Thank you for having me. We're thrilled that you're here, and thank you so much for choosing clothing that complements the colour scheme. I called ahead, and this is what I came up with. So I'm so <laughs> thrilled that you did, and we're so happy that you're here. Mary Elizabeth Winstead, everybody. <laughs> good show. Good show. I tell you, Drew Barrymore, Drew Barrymore, she can do it all. Can't she? She's been in rom-coms. She's one of Charlie's angels. She played a cannibal. <laughs> that, that is range. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins can only do one of those things. <laughs> you know? He was, he was great in Charlie's angels, though. <laughs> yeah. Cool, Try I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of like a famous Charlie's Angels quote that I could do, but then it's really just kind of the pose, right? It's and the then, pose yeah. and then the Destiny's Child song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is yeah. it, I don't think you're ready for this jelly? Is that it? I don't think you're ready for this jelly. They were right, I wasn't. No. <laughs> Completely unprepared. I'm like an English muffin level of jelly, you know? And anything more than that, I'm, I'm underwater. Now, see, so you're calling it jelly, which is what I would call jam. Je you call jello. That's what I call jelly. Oh, like a, like, you know, wobble, 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 that. Since we're, since we're on the topic, what is, how come puddings is so many things? <laughs> in, in Britain? So true. Pudding yeah. is like nine so things for y'all. Is yeah. it, it's pudding? Pudding means dessert. Pudding, but in, we also call it general. dessert. But here, pudding is a very specific thing. It's like a, it's like a chocolatey mousse kind of thing, but you're like pudding is dessert, but also you can have pudding like You'll learn. <laughs> Uh, now, how was everyone's weekend, gang? That's so good. How was everybody's weekend? So good. Reg, what'd you get up to? Well, my uh, my psychologist told me that I should be celibate. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, for three months. Why have you got to be celibate? Because it's just been too much. It's just, I I think. Well, you know, it's like I'm I'm kind of looking more for a a partner type of person. And so I've been seeing a lot of people. And yep. so she's like, well, just like, you know, cleanse it out, you know, get in touch with yourself again and, you know, let those juices rejuice. Yeah. And, uh, and then, you know, and then see where you're at after the new year. You know, so. clear the after board. the new year? Yeah. After the new year? Yeah, October to uh, new year. Yeah. I think those are the right months to do it. Yes, exactly. Because that's prime eating season. Yes. You know? So, yes. like, you don't ever have to worry, like, oh, I'm too full. You're perfectly full. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of sleepy time. I just, what are we, what are we, bears? Are we hibernating <laughs> now? What the heck is happening? You're harvesting food. You're like, well, I'm going to take a nap until January. That's just not, that's not it. I, I see, I, I think different. I think different. I think it's cozy nights in, don't want to go out. A little chillier. Just turn on the fire. They, Susan knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> An audible yes from Susan. Susan's oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Glass of red wine. Do a little dance. Pretty much get down tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm thinking you do all that, but instead of sex, it's just like all the ice cream. I, can I be honest? I don't see the two as mutually exclusive. <laughs> Well, on that bombshell, <laughs> it's time for the news. 
tomorrow, voters here in California will finally decide whether or not Governor Gavin Newsom stays in office. Experts say the mail-in voting will lean Democrat, while tomorrow's in-person voting will lean more Republican. But I'm sure Republicans will be gracious and understanding about the mail-in ballots. They always have been, historically. Is it just me? Or has physical mail become hugely important in the last few years? I feel like we talk like... I felt like it was dead. It was gone. Physical mail was gone. And then a couple of years ago, that was it. Spiked back up. And now, everything's physical mail. Like QR codes. There's a QR code. I never knew what it was. Never knew how they worked. Suddenly, one of the most important things in my life. <laughs> Newsom seems to be surging, but you never know about these things. He could end up winning by just a hair. A slicked back, perfectly quaffed <laughs> hair. And Democrats are pulling out all the stops for the election. Today, President Biden was in California campaigning on Newsom's behalf. Newsom is definitely facing some major obstacles. Number one, Joe Biden is in California campaigning on Newsom's behalf. <laughs> Newsom was grateful for the help, though. He said, uh, he said, how can I ever repay you? And Biden leaned in and said, do you know anything about Afghanistan? <laughs> and here's an interesting scientific study. According to researchers, dogs might be even smarter than we thought they were. Apparently, dogs are able to tell when people do something on purpose or by accident, a distinction that was previously considered a purely human skill. Cats, on the other hand, have no interest in you or your emotional journey. <laughs> Think about this. It was somebody's job to sit in a lab, like a trained professional, to sit in a lab and be like, I wonder if dogs can understand slapstick. <laughs> Dave, do you think dogs can understand slapstick comedy? <laughs> Dave. Dave. <laughs> da do you think dogs can understand slapstick <laughs> comedy? Should we find out? Let's do it. How do they even know? How do they know that the dogs know? Do you know what I mean? Are the dogs, like, going up to the researchers and going, like, ah, uh, no, Dr Kendall, I see what you did there. That, what you just did, was totally on purpose. <laughs> Because if that's how it works, that's a talking dog, which I consider a much bigger breakthrough. <laughs> and we wanted to tell you about this. Recently, a man ended his first date with a woman in a rather unusual way. He gave his date a ride on the back of his motorcycle, ran a red light to try to impress her, and then led cops on a high-speed chase at over 100 miles an hour. <laughs> and you thought your relationship was moving too fast. <laughs> He got into a high-speed motorcycle chase on a first date. Still better than a guy who won't stop talking about crypto. <laughs> Isn't it? You know, I love that he's already got the mic next to Abel. <laughs> Look at that. Didn't even have to move. Didn't even have to move. Here's, how, here's, here's a tip. If you don't want this to happen, right, if you don't want this to happen, stop writing in your dating profile, I'm looking for a partner in crime. <laughs> Anyone here? What's the who, th who in here thinks they've got the worst first date story? Who's had the worst first date in this room? What do you think? Oh, Cece, go on. What happened? I already love this story. <laughs> it's very short. Uh, a guy took me to see Schindler's List on our first date. <laughs> and he had already seen it. <laughs> and he's like, it's so good, you're going to love it. And then... Um, and then we were, like, going to maybe have dinner before, but he's like, no, 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 let's di have dinner after, and then we can talk about the movie. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I got out of the movie, and I was just, like, puffy and, like, I mean, uh, you know, yeah. there's less, and I was like, I can't, I'm not going anywhere else with you. <laughs> was just, that was it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else? Can anyone... <laughs> <laughs> can anyone beat it? <laughs> And did everybody see this? Goldfish Crackers has teamed up with Jenko Jeans to release a limited edition line of jeans to go with their new jalapeno popper Goldfish Crackers. They chose Jenko because they say it's the only brand of jeans able to offer pockets large enough to hold an entire bag of Goldfish Crackers. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, 90s James, 90s James Corden would have been all over those jeans and those crackers, <laughs> without question. Jalapeno Popper Goldfish Crackers and Jenko Jeans. It's such an obvious pair, isn't it? <laughs> they go together like peanut butter and Jenko Jeans. 
or spaghetti carbonara and Jenko jeans. <laughs> I feel like being a marketing executive nowadays is just basically being really good at Mad Libs. <laughs> like, give me a salty snack. Goldfish crackers, got it. Give me, a, give me an item of clothing. Jenko jeans, bang. We got it, guys. Take the rest of the day off. <laughs> and finally, did everybody hear about this? Apparently, wine waste can now be used to make eco-friendly race car fuel. It's made by blending wine residue with a commonly used gasoline additive, creating the final high-performance fuel. And I do not buy this for a second. I consume a huge amount of wine. And I don't move any faster. If anything, it slows me down. <laughs> Race cars will be able to run off wine. In related news, it's just been reported that Lightning McQueen has checked into rehab. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of The Late Late Show. There's a secret. There's a secret. Can you find out what the secret is? Can you see it on your screen? There's a secret. There's a secret.